Welcome back, you lovely bunch. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you're all doing good. I am in such a good mood this morning. So, it's been a long time coming. I've been trying to do this for ages. It's nothing to do with cycling, but I'm going to tell you because I'm super excited and it does loosely connect to what I'm going to talk about today. So, I just passed my driving test. I'm proper happy. And I know 40 is a bit old to be passing your driving test. And I lived in London. I didn't need a car. And now I live in Devon, it is kind of essential. So I have been meaning to drive for a long time. Covid happened, lots of things happened, and then, well basically I just didn't do it. So now I have done it, and now I can drive. And I'm super excited. And I can take you guys on awesome adventures, and we can go a bit further afield and, and check things out without having to rely on public transport. So I am super duper happy. But I am a bit of an idiot, and you guys know that. And I'll show you exactly why in a second. But what I was going to talk to you guys about today is, obviously, I bought a small car for a first car. So there's not a lot of room in it. And if you don't have a lot of room in your car, where do you put your bike? Do you, do you take it apart all the time and put it in the back? Or do you get like a roof rack and out the back mount rack, a, a tow bar hitch? Like what rack do you actually get? And I'll be honest, there's so many different types of racks and there's so much stuff out there that it's a bit hard to know like which racks you can use. But a rack that's always caught my eye is the Sea Sucker one. It uses sucker pads just to attach to the roof of the car and then your fork mounts in and your rear wheel mounts in. And it looks pretty rad, I'm gonna be honest. But it's crazy expensive. They're like 300 pounds for like a single bike one, you know? And the plus side is, you don't need to have like rails to put a roof rack on. You don't need to have a tow bar hitch. So they're really quick to put on, they're really secure. You can mount all different types of bikes to them and you can just take them off when you're done with them and it takes a few seconds. So it's really appealing. It's a lot of money for a single bike one and I'm a bit skimmed. So is there a cheaper alternative to these sea suckers? There's a lot of stuff online available and there's a lot of different companies that make them. So I spent a long time looking, researching, reading, watching YouTube reviews on racks to work out if they're good, if they're not. And there's one that I came across that has a lot of really good reviews and it's a cheap version of the sea sucker. So I'm gonna actually show you it now by Rock Bros. Rock Bros, Rock Bros, Rock Bros, whoever. I came across this. So this was a hundred pounds for the front and rear one you get, and this fixes to one bike, and it essentially just sits on the top of your car. And it has these suction pads, let me show you. It's under here, you have these nice little suction pads, and then you have these like little, little, little suckers. This is like a third or a quarter of the price of the sea sucker. I know what you're all thinking. Would you trust a cheap, kind of knockoff made rack with your pride and joy? And the answer is, I, I've got no idea. I did the research, I read a lot online, and from what I've read, it seems like it's a really sturdy rack. And there's a lot of people that were like thinking the same thing as me, but like you don't want to put like a bike worth thousands of pounds on the roof of your car attached to a rack that costs a hundred pounds that is a copy of another rack. Well, it's not a copy, it's actually different. These are all in a straight line, the C-Sec ones are slightly different, but essentially, it's a very similar rack and it's a very similar design and it's not a complete copy but let's be honest it's a bit of a knockoff of the sea sucker multiple companies make wheels and they're not knockoffs of other companies they are our cheaper versions of a wheel and there are more expensive versions it's good for a bike up to 20 kilos none of mine are over 20 kilos so that's pretty much all of my bikes it's great for it attaches really quickly it's cheap it's simple to put on you can have all different actual sizes so you get these end caps they literally just pop out and pop in and you can get various different sizes of them. And this is like a 15 mil through axle and then you get like a 12 mil and a quick release. So it works at all sizes. This is the boost one. So I think it's slightly wider. Extra attachments, I think they're like eight pounds for the extra attachments. So all in all, with all my attachments, I think I spent 108 pounds on this. And I suppose the question is, if we put this on the car, is my bike gonna fall off? So I did actually buy this and I don't wanna go and recommend something to you guys that you then put your pride and joy on your car and everything falls off and it might damage your car or damage your bike, which would just suck. So I'm gonna test this out for you guys and we're gonna see if my bike falls off the car using a cheap knockoff sea sucker rack. <laughs> so it's really easy to set up. All you do is you place it on the roof, you keep on pumping the cap until the white bar disappears and it takes a bit of time. I mean, not that much time. So in comparison to setting up a bike rack, on a car, on, on a tow bar hitch. So you just keep pressing them, you do all three of them, and when you see that the white line has disappeared on all three of those like sucker buttons, things, 
that means the rack's secure. So then it's just a matter of getting the bike, putting the bike on, and secure the front axle, and then I put the rear wheel one on, so I know that it's gonna be in the right place. So for mine, I have to go slightly off center because of the uh, aerial for the radio. It's really secure. So I've driven with it, I've used it. It's a little bit concerning the first time you use it. I had to stop and keep on checking to see if, it, if the suckers have come loose or there was any more play. And honestly, I mean, that's like a 16 kilo bike and it's not a problem at all. So you secure your crank arms with a Velcro strap, that stops the pedals swinging around and potentially damaging your roof. And then you just put your front wheel in the boot. And as you can see from my boot, this is why I'm an idiot. My car has got a, like a rear brace in it to stiffen up the rear end. Obviously this is what you need in a one litre micro. And my car's ended up ridiculously low. I do actually need to lift it a bit because I can't even get down my drive that easily. And I am actually thinking about putting a turbo in. I don't know if any of you guys are into cars. Is it worth putting a turbo in a one litre micro? Just for fun. But on the whole, I'm really impressed with the rack. Genuinely. And... I bought it. This isn't like a sponsored post where someone sent me the rack in order to like promote it. I went and spent my money on this rack because it's something that I needed and I wanted. And honestly, I don't buy a lot of cycle stuff. Like I'm really lucky to be able to get a lot of the stuff I need for free. So when I go and buy something, I want it to be good. It has to be cheap because I'm skin. And well, that's it basically. It has to be good and cheap. And with cycling, you don't often get good, cheap, and all this thing in one package often. So I'm really pleased with it. It is the Rock Bros rack. Like it, I got mine from eBay. It was 108 pounds with the different mounts. Have I missed anything out? I don't know, let me know. Would you guys trust a knockoff rack? That's not actually a knockoff rack. Is it a knockoff rack? Do like Sea Sucker own the patent to every sucker rack there is available? I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's made in China, but most stuff's made in China, and a lot of really good quality stuff's made in China. Just because there's a lot of counterfeits that come out of China, and there is some lower quality that comes out of there, doesn't mean that everything is rubbish. So, like I said, it's not a complete knockoff. It is a different sucker pattern. The suckers are like individually rated for, I don't know, quite a lot of pressure. Like you can hold a 20 kilo bike, and it takes two minutes to put on. Oh, and when you want to take it off, all you literally do is you pick up the corner of one of the suction caps, and that releases the pressure, and you can just Take it off, put your sucker protective pads back on, put it in your boot and use it again. Like it's just so quick, simple and nice. So I hope you guys found this informative. Like, let me know, what racks do you use? Let me know, would you trust this rack? And well, I've got my bike on the car now, so I need to go for a drive and then go and shred some mountain bike. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.